So Ram Prasad, my name is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm talking to you from Canada. And uh, where are you at present? Uh, sir, good morning. Uh, I am in Goa, India. Okay. Uh, yeah. You are in Goa, India. How's the new? Uh, oh, you, you, oh, sorry, you are not in Maharashtra. So I was uh, looking no, to no, ask you what Maharashtra. Government. No, you are not yeah. in Maharashtra. Okay. Uh, what do you do in Goa? Uh, so I work for as a branch manager, chief branch manager with an insurance company. Uh, and uh, I've almost uh, spent 12 years in insurance industry in different roles. Okay. Uh, that I was in uh, administration and all. Okay. So for 25 years I'm working. Uh, I'm what is your, what is your what is your travel history? Have you traveled all over the world? Have you visited some countries? Yeah, I have visited uh, Moscow, Russia uh, on a business tour. Again, I have recently in the month of April, I visited uh, Switzerland uh, for uh, uh, on, a, uh, on a business tour again. On a business tour. How many days did you live in Switzerland? Uh, almost a week. One week? Yeah, one week. Which city did you spend your time most in Switzerland? Stayed in Zurich, and okay. uh, uh, then we went to, uh, you know, we had a small stay uh, in Germany also, Black Forest. We had. It was a uh, I was qualified for a business tour, so I was there for around a week in uh, Zurich, mostly in Zurich. Okay, and. Uh... Looks like uh, obviously the message that you sent me that you like Switzerland and you would like to live there permanently. Not permanently as such, but I wanted to work because uh, I like the place first of all. When I went for on a tour, second thing is that I uh, I'm from an insurance background and uh, Switzerland uh, has a lot of insurance companies. They have a history of uh, uh, very good insurance companies there. Okay. So my of getting a job were very high. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, what help do you need from me uh, as far as Switzerland is concerned? Because I'm not from Switzerland. I'm from Canada. And what is the specific help that you are seeking from me regarding your Switzerland plan? Yes, sir. I understand that you are from uh, Canada, but uh, that's what I first wanted to. I send you many messages whether to means whether you will be able to guide me on Switzerland. But now, uh, since we have uh, on the line, uh, what I will say is, uh, I will just give you a brief idea what has happened. Uh, after I came from Switzerland, I approached a uh, consultancy agency. Uh, the name of the consultancy agency is Terra. Ellen Terra Immigration Private Limited. Mm -hmm. okay, and uh, actually, it's the name, the earlier name was Overseas Advisors Private Limited. Okay, so um, and there I um, I went there and they, uh, they uh, gave me a uh, uh, the quality assessment test. First, they gave me a quality, they, they sent me a mail saying, send uh, me your uh, passport. Okay, uh, along with uh, all the pages, and uh, then send me your resume and this quality assessment test. Okay, where I where I, where, where I to answer all my uh, details and my family history, then my certification, uh, then uh, what is uh, what is the what come come to the question? What is the final conclusion? What are they saying to you? What is the final message now? Yeah, then I paid them the money, 4,200, the registration fee was there. Then they asked me for, uh, uh, before entry, they asked me uh, 7,000 rupees as an okay. interview fee, which I paid. Then I got a call from Switzerland okay, uh, by the name of uh, Mr. Ben. And uh, he asked, uh, around 17 minutes was the call. And uh, he asked me a lot of questions about my work. And uh, uh, then uh, I got a, uh, before that, before that, uh, when I paid this uh, for registration fee, they said this one, uh, uh, this uh, federal office of uh, uh, immigration of Switzerland, they sent me uh, one uh, uh, report with a password, and I'll just show you that. 
so, so, so I, so I understand. I cannot see from the screen all the thing. Just come, just come to the question. Ask me what do you want from me to help you this? Because uh, we, I do not know whether all this process is genuine and these companies are genuine. We don't even know whether the call actually came from Switzerland. It is very easy for me to call you from New Delhi to Goa with my number spoofed as a Switzerland number so that you know that somebody is calling from Switzerland with a number or maybe they can change the accent. So nobody knows where somebody is calling from. Uh, my only question is this. Are they asking you money to get you the job to work in Switzerland? They have you already paid them around uh, 80,000. Uh, 80, yeah, okay. 80,000 I paid them. Uh, what what I want from you is I wanted to know whether this uh, uh, report of uh, Federal Office of Migration Switzerland is genuine. Uh, I, I have no way to I have I have no way to find out the, what I will do if I were you in Goa right now. I would send that report to the to the Swiss embassy in uh, New Delhi, wherever the embassy is, and you can you can ask them uh, what they want to do, and and you know they will they will help you out, or maybe you can call them somebody, you know maybe they will know, because if these things were happening in Canada, I can I can help help to find out what is going on, uh, whether these are genuine or not, but for Swiss or Germany, there's no way I can find out. So I w I would encourage you to contact the Swiss embassy or the Swiss Office of Migration directly by on the website and ask them uh, whether this is genuine. Will you come to know very soon? Yes, I tried, sir. I sent a mail to that uh, Federal Office of Migration uh, from the net. I got the mail, uh, email ID, but I did, the mail is not reaching them. Neither well, I'm not... My, my suspicion is, now this is my feeling, this is my hunch feeling. My suspicion is that this is all bogus. All right. So, yeah. uh, to prove otherwise, uh, I would definitely ask the consultant. I would challenge the consultant to prove this is genuine. Otherwise, I am, I am starting with my belief that this is all bogus and my eighty thousand rupees is gone. Uh, because think about this: somebody who is uh, uh, being offered a job in Switzerland, and Switzerland is a very uh, expensive place, and you know you need to have a sufficient, uh, high level of salary. To be able to to go afford uh, living there, why why are they giving you a job in in India? Number one, haven't they got other people who can fill the job? You know, Switzerland is part of Europe, is part of EU, and if they want to hire anybody in the insurance field or any banking field or anything in that you know uh, talent, uh, they can hire anybody from entire Europe. There's no work permit required, there's no sponsorship required, there's no documentation required, nothing. I mean, think about this. Uh, England, France, Germany, Belgium, you know, uh, Andorra, Spain, Portugal, all of this is part of Europe. And there are thousands and thousands of people already living there who are European citizens, possibly Many of them are working in the same field as the employer is, the insurance and finance. They can just pick up a phone, call somebody, and they want to hire somebody. They can do this. Why would they do all this quality check and all this questionnaire, all this pre-screening to somebody in Goa? And now they have to do a sponsorship eventually when the time comes to do a work visa. And then you go there and pay the money to a consultant. Why? What's the point of all this? Let me ask you this. How much salary are they promising that you will get? They have promised me around 7,800 Swiss francs. 7,800 Swiss francs? Yeah. Which is uh, close to about, I think, I don't know the change rate, I think close to about 5,000 or 6,000 euros maybe uh, around that range. Uh, 70 is the Swiss franc. So, yeah. Uh, that sounds, you know, that sounds, uh, that's, that looks like the going salary, but you know somebody who's experienced and why, why they are looking at an experienced, talented professional like you. I mean, I think they should be offering you at a higher grade. You are not an entry-level person. You already have some experience. So, I'm I'm little 
amused, if not surprised, by the whole game of this selection. Why are they targeting you? Why not, uh, you know, somebody who is more localized in that area? So I am a little suspicious that this may be a game by a local consultant to make 80,000 rupees from you. And once they have this 80,000 rupees, that's it. And they can go to a next candidate and they make 80,000, 80,000 from other people like you. So you may have been a target of some scam. I hope not. I wish that you have a genuine job, but whatever I can sense for now, it looks like bogus to me. Yeah, they have sent me, uh, first of all, I uh, uploaded my CV uh, on Nokri and there I have uh, my uh, favorite, uh, my preferred location, I marked as Switzerland. So from there I got a call. Yeah, and I, I understand. I, it is very, I understand. Yeah. I have seen, I have seen these kind of job offers uh, for many years. You know, when a resume is uploaded on Nokri.com or any, any, any other, uh, that is telling the fraud artist that you are looking for some job and maybe you have indicated that you are looking for job overseas. So I can, if I am a fraud agent in India, I can target you because I know that you are desirous of moving out or you're looking out and you want a certain scale or something. So uh, you are a good target for my mail saying that congratulations, my client in Switzerland has selected you and then you are happy. Some client, you know, <laughs> in Switzerland, clients has targeted you. So I, I will, I make you feel happy. And then now it is the time for me to say, look, okay, my client will select you, pre-select and shortlist you and screen you and, and other things. Please pay us a registration fee. And then you are, you are paying the fees in the hope that eventually it will lead to the job and dream job in Switzerland. Uh, I, they have given me a checklist which I have sent uh, in that uh, the uh, character certificate, police clearance certificate, yeah. residence certificate and all this I have sent and now they are asking me that uh, I need to pay application fee. So I said I will be paying directly to the authority like embassy or government authority, whoever it is. So they said okay, uh, we will uh, make your file and send to you at your address. And then you can take it over. But if it doesn't happen, then we are not responsible. Well, that's fine. I, you you tell them, I'll take my chances. You send me the package. We'll pay the fees to the Swiss embassy directly. Uh, and, and that's okay. We I will take my chances. If the visa doesn't get through, that's fine. You know, you have done your job. You have taken your money. That's fine. Uh, the the placement is already materialized. We have the job offer from somebody yeah, who from calls from... A letter from the company. They just gave me a mail saying it is from recruitment department. And yeah. Uh, it, yeah, is, it is bogus. So, sir, yeah. sir, listen to me. Listen to me. Big companies, big companies, and you know, you are in the banking and finance in industry. Big banks and big insurance giant. They just don't have a name called recruitment department. I mean, they have big uh, departments. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, they are hiring for a peon or for, you know, like a driver to, you know, like a chauffeur. Uh, I mean, these are, these are big giant HR departments and they have all over the world, maybe thousands and thousands of employees. So they have a proper system and department and the letterhead and fax number of the corporate HR vice president or, you know, this is, this is not like, uh, you know, Mickey Mouse came here. So whatever you are telling me, it does not seem right to me. And I am, I am led to believe more than not that it is a bogus scam, but Hey, I've given you my opinion. You can take your decision, whatever you want to go forward. Around. They have all invoices and they have made an agreement also. Their uh, CIN number is there, uh, their GST number is there, plus they have done an uh, agreement on uh, step paper. Uh, you know, say so all these things uh, they have done. Well, stamp paper or non stamp paper, it hardly matters anything. But you know, the last thing is that what you tell them is look, whatever fees needs to be paid, thank you very much for your cooperation time. I've paid you 80,000 rupees, it's done. Give me the job offer. Let me go to the Swiss embassy. Let me apply for the visa now. And whatever the processing fees is, we will pay directly to the Swiss embassy. And then, hey, it's my luck. If I get the visa, that's fine. If not, then goodbye.
you know. So uh, one question how they have given me a, a general uh, this you know email saying I have been selected, but with the same uh, with that same mail, can I uh, apply for visa or how it? Well, I, I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know whether that email itself is an official email or not. What you need to do is you need to go to the Swiss Embassy in New Delhi website. Go to the website yeah. and and find out what are the checklists required to apply for work visa in Switzerland. And then you will see a list of documents needed. But I can tell you from my personal viewpoint, the way I do it for Canada is uh, that the Canadian uh, High Commission in New Delhi has a checklist of each visa categories. So it is the same as visible to me as somebody else who is doing this on his own. So they can see the checklist and they, they know exactly how to apply. They can apply online or they can apply through a paper application and system is clear. And I bet it's the same thing as Switzerland also. So if you don't know this, and un unfortunately I, I don't deal with Swiss immigration, so I am not of much help to you except I am lending my general preparation of uh, you know how these things are done and I've been doing it for a long time so I know how Canada and US immigration system works and how these visa categories work so and I and I'm led to believe it's not much different from Europe as well especially UK and you know these countries so I I strongly recommend that you go to the Swiss embassy website in New Delhi, find out the checklist requirements and apply directly from there. And I'm sure maybe they have a consulate in, in Mumbai also. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm just saying many times in New Delhi, but I, I, bet, I bet they have a, some you know, visa processing center in, uh, in Mumbai as well, so that might be easy for you. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, I was trying to reach you for a long now. Uh, no, I know, I know, the... I know. I I I I saw your message, but I just uh, it just takes time to for me to respond back. And I've got every day. I have five to ten inquiries like this every day from all over the world. I know you are busy. I already saw, uh, send you all those mails which have come to me. Uh, so I think uh, if you can uh, find out something, please let me. Okay. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care.